I want to just thank Pat McDonough. You know, Pat right now is, you know, he is the only one that has been fighting for our children that I can tell in this county. Uh, we need Pat to protect our children. As you know, uh, Pat actually helped form the Baltimore County Parent and Student Coalition. I am the outreach coordinator, and I want to thank Pat for that and for his support. We have out of touch leaders here in Baltimore County. And I have to tell you, I've been screaming every day for two years about the violence that's going on in our schools. I've been on the news, been in every school board meeting, on the radio, wherever I can alarm parents of what's going on. And what we see is that last year we had small fights turn into big fights, then turn into weapons, then turn into guns, then somebody got shot. And the first week of school this year, a kid got shot on Baltimore County school grounds. They found in guns and backpacks. The same high school that had guns and backpacks last year. But here's the problem. This is why we need Pat McDonough as our Baltimore County executive. We have out of touch leaders making policies and procedures for our kids. I wanna tell you something. So this past year, we had somebody shot the first week of school. We had multiple fights where kids are getting beat up for not one minute, not two minutes, but three minutes with nobody coming to help them. Imagine how that kid feels when they're getting abused and beat up and nobody's helping them out. What about the kids that are watching this happen every day? What about the kid that is getting beat up, but the kid that punches them in the face, they just get talked to outside and come in and sit right next to them. That's what's going on in their schools. I was talking to a psychologist this week. Her name is Julia, no Julia Nock. She has her own practice and she's an author. I have my mentor, I'm a director of a mentorship program. And after the pandemic, I always try to reach out for resources to get a better idea how I can serve our kids. And she told me this this past weekend, I wanna share it with you and it broke my heart. She said that kids, when they experience six or more traumas in their life, Six or more seeing somebody get kicked in their butt kicked out of them, kicked in the face, beat for three minutes. If it happens more than six times, they lose 19 years off their life. We are killing our kids. And what we didn't realize is that we have these poor failing grades, their low proficiency rate, 5% in math, 35% in reading, but they want to push transgender in our schools. I don't care what they're trying to push, we need to focus on reading, math, and science. But we have out of touch leaders, and I want to tell you this. This past week, we were at the Baltimore County Board of Education speaking. The president of the teachers union came up before we came up and spoke. I had to control myself after she said this. And I pray to God, I don't want to go back to the old Darren. I try to be the new Darren that he has me right now. But she came up and she said, board, I'm here to give you an update. The update is at the beginning of school, it was bad. It was a little bad, but little incidents, but school is great now. The violence is down. The violence is down. So when you have the president of the teachers unions telling the school boards that violence is down and everything's okay, you have the county executive, Johnny O. We were at a big meeting, uh, a, a budget meeting. I asked Johnny O. I said, Johnny, isn't it time to investigate the teachers unions, how they spend their money, how they're spending it, how they're teaching our kids, and how this money's being used? He said, no, Darren. He said, the teachers unions are our great partners. They're doing a great job. We don't need to change anything, just like the president of the teachers union said. So who's fighting for our kids? We need to vote Pat McDonough in office. We need to support him. We need to volunteer. The election's 20 days away. He needs your financial support. Pat needs you to get out, pass some flyers, grab one of his signs, stand on the highway. If we let this to continue to go on, it's only gonna get worse for our children. So everybody, I'm asking you right now, take a minute, go to Pat's Facebook page, like it, share it, donate some money. If you have $5, it can go a long way. $20, $30, get out and support him, go to the polls, tell people about him. We need to know, we need to share with the community what's really going on in their schools. They have us in the news and I appreciate them, but they only give snippets. They don't tell the full story. I just posted on my social media page, a nine-year-old girl went to go pick up her five-year-old sister from elementary school. A high school student beat her and her little sister up. That's what's going on in our schools. We can't let it happen. I know that some of us were on Facebook and we share stuff and oh, there's problems in Baltimore County. Enough of the computer. We need to get out in the community. We need to fight for our kids, okay? 
So I'm encouraging everybody, get out and fight, get out and share, get out and support Pat. We need to support our kids. And if your kid's being bullied, fill out a Baltimore County a bully intimidation form. And like Pat said, if your child's getting assaulted, I don't care if it's in school or outside of school, assault's assault. I got into this race because I believe four more years of Johnny Olszewski would be a disaster for Baltimore County. Now, here are some of the things I believe in, and I'm going to talk about education because the revolution is about to start. There's going to be a need to shift gears, to shift gears on strategy. And I'm not an attorney, but I'm associated with the law firm Respect the Constitution. Uh, and I'm on the board of directors. We were the founding fathers, along with Darren and Mary and Amy Adams, of the coalition. We helped found that. We did their legal work. And we've been with them all along. I've been on this issue for eight years. Mary and Darren and all the folks associated with them have done a wonderful job. They are to be congratulated. They have been successful in bringing awareness to the issue, bringing the media, which was not covering, into the issue. But we've got to move on now. We've got to go to phase two. We just can't continue to have rallies, and we just can't continue to try to promote. We need to have a solution, and there is a solution. It's kind of complex, and a lot of people don't know about it. The first part of the solution is getting Pat McDonough elected to the county executive's position. Right. Now, here's what I can do immediately. Number one, there is an agreement between the SROs and the Department of Education that places the SROs under the control of the principals and the administrators. First week in office, that agreement will be squashed. Yes. I will then place the SROs under my jurisdiction and the police chief. I will encourage them to file criminal complaints with every incident that involves a criminal act. I will appoint a special unit in the police department that will uh, take the parents when they file the complaint and take care of them. I will ask the state's attorney, who I fund, to do a special unit to help these parents. And in addition to that, uh, we will have a program called Safe Kids 911. That is we want the children and the parents to file criminal complaints. You've got to get it out of the education system into the uh, criminal justice system to get results. Now here's why that happens. I don't know if you all know this. I, I spoke with Sean Casey for a half an hour this week and we talked about the Obama rule. In 2014, President Obama signed an executive order to 90,000 school systems across America that did two things, it had two points. One point was that we cannot discipline or dispel children, especially minorities, because this kind of procedure and process leads to a pathway to prison. It's crazy, if you don't do it, it is a pathway to prison. The second point was that there can be no disclosure to the parents or the relatives of the children who were involved as victims or the perpetrators because this must be kept confidential. Now, Obama and now Biden have said that if you fail to do these two things as a school system, we will re uh, take your funding and cut it, and we can also go to the Department of Justice, the Civil Rights, and come after you. Now, the administrators and the leaders in education all across America are scared to death of this. In Baltimore County, the, the system in Baltimore County is a pro-violence system. It's pro-violence. Olszewski, the uh, Board of Education, the Education Establishment, and the Superintendent all support this. This is a radical left-wing philosophy. Just like they are soft on crime in schools, they are soft on violence. Educators in the establishment of the left all across America supports this. So the question is, what do you do about it? How can you change it? Six months ago, the Supreme Court issued a declaration, Justice Alito. In that declaration, he said, children have the same rights as adults when it comes to criminal prosecution, which includes due process, point number one, due process, that's when they don't tell anybody, that's when they don't have hearings, 
That's when the perpetrators are just forgiven. That's called due process. You do something wrong, you've got to go in front of a judge. You have an attorney and a prosecutor. So that's rule number one. They are violating the Constitution and the civil rights of that child. Rule number two is protection under the law in the 14th Amendment. That means that they are not prosecuting the offenders, the perpetrators, in criminal justice language. So we are going to file, respect the Constitution, is going to file a national federal court lawsuit destined for the Supreme Court. It's called the Save the Children's Lawsuit. We're going to advertise it and promote it all over the country. It's going to be on National Fox. It's going to be everywhere. This is the solution. If we win this case, and since the declaration has already been made by the Supreme Court, by Justice Alito, we will win the case. It's preordained. Millions of children in America will be saved from violence. So, and this is coming right out of Baltimore County. We are suing Baltimore County and the Baltimore County system. Darren is working with us. He's helping to line up plaintiffs. We're going to have a lot of plaintiffs. We have a major direct mail company out of Washington that's going to promote this to raise funds for all across America. So this is going to be a major revolutionary change to save the children. This is going to be a moment in American history where a bad policy and a bad program that was unconstitutional, violated the civil rights of children, was defeated and destroyed.